Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATI T Study Manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today we are on less. Today we are on lesson number. 152 you should have said, I don't know why it says 53. Perhaps I put down 53 because it's a page, because we are on page 93. On page one, today is our lesson number 152 and we are on page number 93 where you see a whole bunch of formulas, geometric formulas. Let's begin, shall we? We'll learn some basic formulas so that, uh, so that if we understand the formulas, it will make it that much easier for us to remember them. Let's start with something very simple, very basic. Rectangle. How do we find area of a rectangle? Area of a rectangle. Area of a rectangle is very simple. Everybody knows that it's length times width. It's length times width, for example, if I have a rectangle here, if we have a rectangle here, we are told that it is 8 centimeter by 5 centimeter. In other words, it's 8 by 5. What's the area of this guy? Well, the area of this guy is going to be 8 centimeters times 5 centimeters. 8 by 5 is 40, and centimeter times centimeter is centimeter squared. It's 40 squared centimeters, so for 40 centimeters squared. We had that discussion also in the previous videos. It's important that you watch all the videos in the proper sequence because I, can, I don't have a luxury of repeating the same thing over and over again. We begin this geometry part, I believe, on page number, on day number 146. Today is day, day 152. The geometry portion of the exam begins with day number 146. Make sure you watch them in sequence because, as I said before, I don't have the luxury of repeating the same concepts over and over again. So it's, it's, it is read as 40 centimeters squared or 40 square centimeters. What about a square? Instead of a rectangle, what if you have a square? Well, a square is nothing but a rectangle. A square is a special rectangle where all four sides are equal. In a rectangle, opposite sides are equal. This side is equal to that side and this side is equal to that side. In a square, all sides are equal. And because they are all sides are equal, the area of a square is still length times width. Okay, keep this thing. The area of a square is of course same as a rectangle because it is a rectangle. All squares are rectangle, but all rectangles are not square because square is a special kind of rectangles where all four sides happen to be equal. So if a square is a rectangle, then the area of the square should be, can, be, can be gotten in the same way as one can get the area of a, as uh, as the area of the rectangle is gotten, which is length times width. Except here, when we talk about the length and the width, they are equal to each other. And because the length and the width are equal to each other, because all four sides are equal, we no longer make a distinction between length and the width. We no longer use the terminology of length and width in the context of a square because they are all equal. So instead of speaking in terms of length and width, one just speaks only in terms of sides. So length times width is simply side times side. Area of a square is side squared. Whatever the side happens to be is squared. So for example here, if you are given, if you are told that it's a, it's a, if you are told this is a square and we are told that one side is seven centimeters, what's the area? Well the area is side squared. So it's just gonna be seven centimeter squared. Seven centimeters squared, seven times seven is 49. So it's 49 square centimeter. Let's move on to something else, shall we? How about area of a triangle? Now you might know what, how to find the area of a triangle. That's not the point here. The point here is, do you understand why the formula is the way it is. Do you understand the rationale behind the formula? That's what we are trying to understand. 
and they are all based on the one very simple notion they are all based on one very simple notion which is length times width even area of a triangle is based on the idea that the area of a rectangle is simply length times width let's see why let's see how so here is our here's our here's our triangle So right angle triangle we are told and the question is how do you find area of this triangle? Well, let's find out shall we? Here's what we're going to do. Watch what happens. Don't, think, don't look at this triangle as a triangle. Think of this triangle as, you see if you were to put, if you were to pick up this triangle and flip it, flip it in the sense that create another one here, it's a rectangle. And how do you find area of a rectangle? Well, we already know, keep listening, okay? It's very important that you pay attention. We already know that the area of a rectangle is simply length times width. Isn't it? Length times width. Length times width. Except here, we're not interested in finding out the area of the entire rectangle. We just want to find the area of this guy. Which you can clearly see from the picture is half of the whole thing. Therefore, area of a triangle is half of this guy. Area of a triangle is simply whatever the length times width is, you take half of it. Except in the context of the triangle, one more time, let's start from the very beginning. On a regular rectangle, we speak of side in terms of length and width. When we're dealing with square, we speak in terms of size because they're all equal to each other. There is no point in, in, in designating one as a length and the other one as a width because how, how do you designate one, one different than the other? They're not different. They're all the same. We refer to all of them as simply sides. When we move on to the triangles, we no longer refer to the sides as length times width. Instead of calling them length and width, in the context of the triangle, in the context of a triangle, we refer to these as base and height. We will not refer to this as length, we will call it base. And even though this is way up there, but it's the same thing here, this is the base. This side here, in the context of, a, let me use a different color, in the context of a triangle, distance from here to here, we refer to as a base, which is your length of this triangle, isn't it? And this side right here, instead of calling it width, Instead of calling it width, this side right here, we refer to it as a height. I'm not going to put the whole thing, I don't have room. Height. One more time. We do not speak in terms of length and width in the context of a triangle. In the context of a triangle, we refer to this as length, uh, a base and height. So instead of length and width, we'll have the length will be the base and the weight will be the height and you have to take half of it. That's your area of a triangle. You can leave it like this or you can write it a little bit fancy write this in a little bit fancy way. The area equals to half of base times height. This this quantity is the exact same as this quantity. This quantity here is the exact same as that quantity. Do you understand? The very last thing we're going to do in this video is, is to look at the shape of the triangle that appears in the book. If you look at the book, I'm on page number 92, as I told you already, page number 93, and if you look at the third entry there in the table there, the first entry is the square, then the rectangle. They start out with square, they should have started with rectangle, because rectangle is, is the foundation, that's the beginning point. Once we understand the area of a rectangle, the square is simply length times width, except the length and the width are the same, so we just decide squared. Then the triangle. Why triangle? Because triangle, any triangle is just half a rectangle. Did you know that? Any triangle is simply half a rectangle, which is why the area of a triangle is base times height, which is the length and the width, and you take half of it. Except the shape that they give you in the book is a little different. So let's talk about that, shall we? I need the room, so I'm going to erase all of that. But this, these two, these, this, this thing and this thing are one and the same. Let's see what, just look at the shape that they give us in, in the book. Okay, watch what happens. In the book, the shape that they give us looks something like this.
and they tell you that this is the height let's call let's, let's give this what is his name ABC and they tell us that the distance from A to C is B centimeter they don't give you its unit is B and the height is H centimeter how do we find out area of something like this let's see what happens okay pay attention stay with me in the story let's give this point a name so we can talk about it let's call it point D so we have A B C and D let's look at triangle D B C separately so there is your triangle D uh, the point D right here that triangle this uh, this this point right here is this and that point up there is this are you with me yes now what I want you to do okay, listen carefully what I want you to do is pick up this triangle right here triangle triangle A B D pick it up this triangle right here in your mind I want you to pick it up cut it out pick it up flip it and put it here first flip it first flip it and then put it upside down okay first you're going to flip it you're going to you're going to pick it up you're going to flip it and then turn it upside down and if you do that this is what it should look like this point B is the same as this point B and if you flip it this this is D and that will be point no I'm getting confused myself let's not give this guy a name because if we give this a name it makes it more complicated but you get the idea you get the idea just pick it up and flip it uh, let's not worry about the names here the whole thing is ABC the whole thing is ABC the rest I'm going to erase because I'm, I'm confusing you when you do that you should realize that this triangle is same as the area of this triangle a, B, whatever this was, D, is same as this triangle right here. And since we are interested in finding out the area of this triangle, how do we find the area of a triangle? The area of a triangle is simply half times base. Oh, actually, it's no longer a triangle, it's a rectangle. It is no longer a triangle, it is a rectangle. How do we find it? Area of a rectangle is simply, area of a rectangle, area of this guy is simply base times height or if you like length times width but well, the length we already know is h length is already know with h but the base used to be b, b centimeters but we are looking at only half of it so from here to here is not b centimeter it's only half of b centimeter which what do you suppose is going to happen the length is length is h and the width is half a b. Oh, what do you suppose it boils down to? It is one, one half base times height. We wanted to figure out the area of this picture, but the way it is drawn is difficult to figure it out, so we manipulate it. We pick it up, we flip it, put it up there, and turn it into a rectangle. When we turn it into a rectangle, it's very simple to figure out the area of this guy. The area of this guy is h times half b. But the area of this guy is same as the area of these two together because that's where this comes from. These two triangles are right here. Let's call it triangle one. This is your triangle one. And this was your triangle two. It's right here. So if you want to find the area of this triangle as a whole, it's broken up into two parts, one and two. You put them right here, you turn them into rectangle, and you realize that the area of the rectangle turns out to be one half base times height. Which is why the area of a triangle, regardless of what the shape is, regardless of the shape of the triangle, is always one half base times height. Whether the triangle is drawn in the way that I drew it in the beginning, or whether the triangle is drawn the way it is drawn in the book. I wanted to do that part because I didn't want you to get confused as to why does this triangle looks different than the, than, than the triangle that is given to us in the book. But now we know it doesn't matter how it's drawn, it's always one half base times height.
Do you understand? I know. <laughs>